extra time. And with the third substitute, it's Saley. It's an excellent pass. To another keeper couldn't control his header. It's Saley. To Lenananya. Well, while away, uh, the two centre backs. And they're struggling a bit there. It was Matumo, whose uh, first touch wasn't the best. Have to improve that. It did say late. And the first foul going the way of the blue. And Gayle. Matumo. The big man did say late. Just looking to somehow. Get the foot on the ball and string some passes in the middle of the park. But Malawi have come in for a scrap, no doubt about that. Right out wide by uh, it did say late. Malawi, when they have the ball at their feet, looking the more settled of the two. Banda, on them, because they will not want to go to Malawi without some kind of lead. Let's see if they can get that. Ali, in the 23rd minute, probably should have done better. I think that affected him after that. Seemed to lose a bit of confidence. It was a very good chance that he missed. But uh, all credit to the Malawi goalkeeper. So Magantai is on. Look out. Sanudi hits it long. Looking for uh, Mbulu. Headed out by Galalwe. That's been the pattern of this second half. Botswana have had to defend. Piri. Really nice player to watch, isn't he? Gerald Piri. Always seems to have a bit of time on the, on the ball. Space. He's hit the post as uh, Piri. <laughs> Nicely played from uh, Chester. He hasn't tied at all. Challenging on Bulu again. Really felt the weight of the Botswana defense. They dropped the ball. And Chester thought there was a foul, you know. Screaming for a penalty. It was 50 50. We've seen those given. Move into the last five minutes. Still no goals, but it's been an entertaining nil-nil. Lots of incidents. Looks like Nye, really unlucky that that didn't go in. But we've said that a few times this afternoon. Well, well. The sub is denied. We're in the last minute of play, and for the second time, Botswana hit the post. Early on, it was Mogorotsi there, is on a Benye. Between the two, for me, Malawi have been a slightly better team, but it doesn't matter. It's a question of throwing everything now at the Malawi back four. They're just about holding firm. Put into the box. Just wet enough for the players to find the ball, may zip and run away from them in addition to the uh, difficulties the uh, wind will bring. For me, this uh, type of uh, rain, the one that we just had now, I think it's perfect because this type of grass holds the ball. Hands at the feet of Cooper! Oh, that's a decent strike! Winner of the uh, Man of the Match award in uh, the uh, semi final against the Soto had a brilliant assist. A match back and uh, the two boy and uh, Cooper are the ones that are more adventurous and that's why the arriving process obviously catches the Zambian having filed in the all pressed with the man we have uh, all nicknamed the uh, mini Cooper I say mini Cooper because he is by far still the smallest out in that field but amongst the most effective of just about everything every aspect of uh, the field uh, the passing range and 
you know, the roll of the ball, the bounce, and then this obviously changes all that, meaning that the need to be glowing outside this, which tells us that uh, these days are just as numbered as well, just as some, for some of uh, the uh, other players that we've seen in this tournament. And the route, of course, or should I say the direction is heading to Mzanzi. And uh, that looks up and well, finds the teammate in the ends. Nobody is protecting the man between the sticks for Zambia. There's Cooper, picks up the pieces. South Africa in a set piece scenario. And there were quite a number that followed throughout the top, uh, competition. So looks like he's a balanced keeper because we've seen him deal with the low ball as well. The high balls, obviously, they seem to be seem, seems to feel at home with them. You during the build up, and you were going through what we've seen in uh, what Zambia has to offer, where they've been direct, where times have held on to it, and you actually wondered out loud if they would appear to sit back today and show us a different side of themselves in the opening 20. Have they sat back and allowed Botswana to build comfortably from the back? Just the music goalkeeper screaming at him, why is he letting this guy go past him that ease? At that stage, we're not too sure who Skalusha is or what he's going to be eventually, but clearly he's got the quality of this guy. Each and every time Kalusha comes with the ball dribbling, he will just slide himself across the path of Kalusha on the ground. <laughs> just to just to block anything yeah. that will pass. Obviously Kalusha will just ding it over and jump over him. And keep going. <laughs> and keep going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got a African Cup of Nations got medal. And uh, Davis Ngaus, mm -hmm. he tells me Kalusha was 40 years when they got to talking about. <laughs> I'm like, wow. I'm sure a whole lot of Zambians, of course, out there share the same sentiments. Because it was a big day. It was a big, it was a massive, massive day. Speaking of uh, David Ngausu, my uh, colleague worked with him out at uh, Super Sports United, if memory serves me right here. Indeed. And uh, you were part of that uh, technical team when Zambia went off to the uh, AFCON came back champions. Yeah. And Gausu had a special return. <laughs> Delayed a week after the Nations Cup was over. So when he comes, he comes to the dressing room. Gavin and the head coach asks him, so where have you been? And so that's where we crowned the uh, play champions yesterday. Oh, good one touch. Mm. Pass again. Good movement of the ball as well. Yes, compliment the passing. Of Cooper, course, the general. Oh, the runs that have been made here. Of Botswana, it's impressed me. I can tell you now. Maybe someone agree with me, but they're not a team that is very strong or known for their passing game. Mm. But for me, this is great progress to a team that hardly played with any form of structure except for strength and power. Chama, always organizing in that defense. As we approach the hour, they like the fact that maybe Botswana is not causing so many or having as many box entries as they had in the first half. They're beginning to get the ball in interesting areas such as this. Now, there's the return ball that, well, still rolls kindly for the Zambians, but for the uh, Western eventually going against them. Good numbers push forward then. Alright. Is uh, Gaseba in getting into good attacking areas? Ball in to Askambole. Such a heavy one. Calm up to another playing it out in the team as well as Sean uh, One Gasafa Cup win. Botswana looking to join them at the end of this afternoon. Zambia now playing with both drive going forward. It's a little with some solid work done defensively. And Bola was.